Jeez, this is the ultimate Pokemon collection, hey? Yeah, I've got uh, my life's work here. Your life's work. <laughs> That's Sam. Earlier this week, I received a message from him saying he wanted to clear out all of his old Pokemon stuff. In this video, I'll show you what I was able to pick up off Sam, but before we do, there were so many good thrift store finds picked up on the way over to his place that I wanted to give you guys a bit of a look. Check this out. So we're just in the DVD section and we've just come across this here, which is a really good DVD set called Vera. And there's a collection one to six there, but we've also for $3 a piece got a couple of additionals. We've got a season eight and then there's a series seven there as well. Now they're all $3 each. So I believe that will be 12. Um, that means $18 and it goes for about 70, 60 to 70 on eBay. So that's pretty good. We've also got a few other things down here as well. We've got the Midsummer Murders 100. It's twelve dollars. There's no comps on eBay, but I just know that this is such a good TV show that I'm going to go ahead with that. And then there's some more seasons of this show as well for four dollars. I'll put the comps up on screen. We've got season seventeen. Really like to play in the high seasons, so that's cool to see. All right, um, I just want to take you guys through a few of the other things that we found in there because it was actually quite a really good store. We spent one hundred and forty dollars all up. Um, these shoes here were probably the majority of the spend. It was eighty dollars for these RM Williams. A lot of you guys are probably thinking, maybe if you're just starting out as a beginner, that $80 for an op shop purchase is just something that you wouldn't think about doing. But these things actually go on to sell and they are in really good condition. We're talking between $150 to $160. Um, so I put that into the e-profit calculator with Courtney in store and it, it looked at about $35 to $40 in profit. So spend $80 to make $40. It's not the best deal in the world. I would have loved these to be a little bit cheaper. But $40 profit, I'm going to take every single day of the week. And I also think that these are going to be a really quick sell-through rate. I think they're going to sell really fast, and I was really happy to see them. So don't come across them too often. I'm looking for those really big ticket items, and that's a perfect example of that. Um, Courtney, you found this one. Yeah, that's cool. Got a little brat style here as well. So it's got on the back, it's 2001 MGA. So it's a vintage brat style. Um, you were saying it was Chloe? Uh, Chloe. Chloe. So potentially 20... 20 to 30 bucks there on, on that Brat style. It was just the one in store. We were looking for more, but that's all we could see. Um, we found some video games that were actually comping up pretty well too. So this was for only $4, Grand Theft Auto, and then um, the Red, uh, Red Dead Redemption for four as well. They were both going between 25 to 30 a piece. So we're talking 40 to $50 in games for just the $8. Um, these shoes were pretty clean too. I really like the fact that they were all black. Um, the soles are in really good condition. It's a size, nine and a half i think they were women's and it was twelve dollars so 12 into maybe 40 to 50 bucks there so look we've bought a bit i've got all those dvds that i spoke about earlier when we were in store um but tweed's actually coming through with the goods because we've got a number of listings here and yeah it was 140 bucks spent but the rm williams they should get our money back quick loading loading strap for the lyrics like i'm bowling bowling pushing on keep rolling rolling oh, NRL 2018 trader cards. It's kind of cool that it's a full set. Yeah. Do you want to search up um, NRL 2018 traders? So there's a 50 plus how much? So 65. We're going to do it. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. They're great. Getting so we, them? Yeah, we've, we've done them a number of times. Um, um, Doc Martens. Um, yeah, pretty incredible. They're in great condition. Love the colorway. Love the laces on these things as well. Mm -hmm. um, is there a US size on that tongue? We'll be able to work it out because I think this one came off. It's the Pascal Doc Martens. It's a nine. Yeah, it would be. They're women's and it's a UK seven. Yeah. Oh, yep, USA 9, there you go. Oh my god, I was like, did he just leave? I couldn't find you. What do you got? Eight dollars. Corny. And these eight dollars, I don't know. They're great. Very good at eight. What, um, what ASICs are they? Gel. Netburner Professional, Professional 12. Man. We'll do some research on that. I found some Jordans. Hmm. But someone's done some horrible customization to them. Yeah, well. Look at all that. Isn't that? How much are they? Thirty dollars. Oh Talk us through it, Courtney's. We got these Nike Air uh, two seventy. Yeah, they were sweet. Eight dollars. Yeah, that's unreal. 
Um, and then this. Size small, Nike windbreaker jacket, six bucks. I mean, what do you reckon? How much? No, 40. Yeah, I reckon 39.99 free post. It's got some pockets. Winter over in the USA is coming up, so it might be an international sale. Yeah, I like it. It's a good little run there. We've got three items and we paid tw 20 bucks. Yeah. So there were three other items that we picked up in there, three clothing items. I didn't get any footage of it in store. I just figured I'd talk about it out here. Um, I don't have any comps for it, but it's one of those items where you just kind of pick it up because you know it's going to do well. We only paid uh, $10 there for it. Um, size small, New South Wales. This one's actually an anniversary edition. Centenary of Rugby League, 100 years. Um, it's got 2008 written there as well. So completely genuine, Canterbury, good brand. You know it's, you know it's legit. Probably get about 50 for it, I'd say. Um, this jersey as well I had to pick up. Um, don't exactly know who the team is. It's a European league team. Um, it's got the number 99 on the back. It's Reebok. It says SC International on the, on the top there as well. There's just a lot of key markings to tell me that this isn't a fake. We paid $15 for it, and I think we can probably get about $50 without even you know, looking into it. But um, I thought it was cool. It's got some little tags down the bottom there as well, Reebok. So maybe Reebok's an older sponsorship that means it could be worth a few more dollars, hopefully. We'll just have to do some research. But then this as well. This one was only $9 and it's the Tokyo 2020 Australia. Um, this would have been like a sweater that they would have worn casually before their like, um, maybe before like medal ceremonies or something like that. Um, so yeah, big Australia on the back, completely genuine. ASICS was the sponsorship of the uh, Australian athletes for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, so for nine dollars, that could go. Honestly, that could go for like sixty or seventy bucks. Mm. So all of this here, I, I think we're up to about. I think it's like twenty-five items, something like that. Yeah. Um, and we kind of typically want to try and pull about forty at this time of the week, so we're going to need about fifteen more. There is two more op shops though, just down here, so we're going to roll down there now and hopefully round out the last fifteen. Loading, loading, strap for the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling, pushing on, keep rolling, rolling. No one listen, but I told him, told him. Awesome, so you're big into Pokemon, hey? Oh, I've been collecting my whole life, like not consistently. You know, I collected as a kid, and then um, yeah, yeah, got back into it maybe like four or five years ago when the hype started going again. So I've got some older stuff, some newer stuff. I will say though, it is not all organized or categorized. It is just sporadically through everything. That's kind of the way it's, uh, it's, that's when it's at its best, is when you've got a big jumbled lot. Yeah, and then um, you, you find the little gold nuggets yeah. in, in, the, in amongst it all. Um, as far as the newer stuff goes, I have a whole ton from the celebrations that came out and like the 25th anniversary. Yep. Whole heap of the McDonald's stuff that they did. I had a friend that was working at Macca's and she just gave me tons and tons of those. So I actually have the full collection. I'll do. I believe here of all of the McDonald's, uh, celebrations cards or the anniversary card set. The 25 year. Yeah. Yep. Which, there. What one's that one? I think he's 2007, I believe. 2007, yeah. I don't think he's worth heaps, but I think he's got Charizard, a little bit of... Yeah. Mm. And then this should be, I think this is all of the... 25 year. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So I've got them all in both the shiny and then the normal behind them. Oh, yeah. Which I think is a full set. Should get a couple bucks. And a few of the Pikachus. Pikachus. Yeah, that's awesome. Come on, like, oh, is that a Snorlax? Yeah, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, nice. Even these Pokemon bags are kind of cool. Yeah, and I've got some little Pokemon dudes and whatnot in there. Oh, wow. Jeez, this is the ultimate Pokemon collection, hey? Yeah, I've got uh, my life's work here. Your life's work. <laughs> Yeah, that's incredible. Also, I don't know how much the TCG cards go for, but I've probably got close to three, four hundred of them in there, so they probably go yeah. for a little bit of pop. And then you've got these little guys as well. Yeah, yeah, i got a ton of little figurines and all mm. that. I had a look at some of these just to see what I'm letting go of. Like, yeah. this guy goes over 200 every day of the week, ungraded. Really? Yep. Uh, that is an alternate art VMAX from the Evolving Sky set. I think it was 212, and that was the other day that I looked at that. Oh, wow. Uh, 126, I believe oh, that was. Really? Over 100. Oh, wow. I think over 200 and over 100 on this guy. So these guys here. They are the big ones. Yeah, I think I have bigger, <laughs> bigger ones in there, but those are the ones that are from my recent years. Gotcha. Jeez, that's insane. 
cool too. Yeah, my little Pikachu coin oh. box. Oh, it's a money box. Yeah. That'd actually be worthwhile holding on to myself. I wouldn't want to get rid of that. <laughs> Do you know how to tell what's an alternate art or a thing? So, nah. when you're looking at these card lists, you've got your numbers here. See how that says 209 out of 203? Oh. Anything that exceeds what the card list is, oh. is an alternate art or a special card like that. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. Really, yeah, that is that quite common? Are the alternate cards quite commonly or are they rare because... It varies between sets. Okay. So some sets might put out an excess list of special cards or whatnot, some not so much. Mm -hmm. But once again, my, my knowledge isn't super great. I just looked at some of the things that I pulled because, you know, I'd pull it out and be like, that's cool, what's this? Yeah, then do some research and realise. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. Okay, so there's no doubt about it. I'm um, completely out of my depth here with, uh, with what we're looking at. Um, <laughs> clearly, there's some incredible cards here in this collection. And um, even just a lot of other bits and pieces that are Pokemon related that I'm really interested in. Um, awesome opportunity to come over here. I just really want to be able to capitalise on it, I guess, and, and get some really good return. I'm going to go back in there and just start to ask a few more questions and get to know exactly what he's got and the value of some of these things um, so that we can work out a fair deal for the both of us. This is my, my favourite Pokemon. Have a look at this. So this is yours, you're not, yeah. not getting rid of the Mew. That's I, actually a really cool plush. Yeah, yeah. That sort of thing would go like crazy. Yeah, I've got it tattooed on my arm. I was like, all right, I'll... Oh, let's have a look at that. I didn't realise you had that. Wow. Yeah. That's sick. Mew's my little baby. <laughs> That's awesome. So you reckon you've got a few more plush hiding up there somewhere? Oh, I've got about 20. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be sick. Have you got much in the way of video games? Yep. Oh, I'll you grab, do? I'll grab those in a minute. Sick. That'd be awesome. Alrighty. Couple more bags of goodies. Yes, sir. Got a fair few Call of Duties and whatnot. You're a lot more educated than I am and I trust you as a person. What would you say would well, be value to the pair of us? To the pair of us, look, I'd say the average sale price from what I'm seeing here, like there's no title that I've looked at here and gone, oh my God. Yeah. Um, it's bread and butter. Yeah, um, yeah. Bread and butter games, but it's a category that I sell. Um, I'd say an average sale price for me would be between fifteen and twenty dollars on eBay for all these. Yeah. Um, so I'd be looking at as a bulk lot, maybe like I'd probably go like four bucks each, something like that. Alrighty, what are we looking at here? We got one, two, um, forty-five by four is ninety, hundred and eighty, hundred and eighty. One eighty, yeah. Yeah, done I'd deal. Be something like that. If you're happy with that. Sounds good, my man. First deal done. And then all of these bits and pieces, is it all Pokemon in here or is it a... Uh, I've got a, a mixed bunch somewhat. I've got some anime Pokemon and there's Rick from Rick and Morty. But the majority of that is Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. What's that? Kadabra. Yeah, and they're all Tommy as well. Is there a price you do on just that bag? Do you want the, the bags as well? Yes. Uh, maybe not the Pokemon um, stuff in there. Um, but oh, yep. the bag and that bag and then all of that I would go I'd just sift through but even these guys as well um, I'd look at that and the Pokemon balls yeah and even this Pikachu too yeah I think that P Pikachu could probably sell for a few bucks how is with the bags that guy these here and these balls I think go okay as well as far as actually moving them mm -hmm. uh what do we say about 50? 50? Yeah. So 230 all up with that as well so yep. far. Beautiful. We're moving. Awesome, We're awesome. We're moving. There's a Gengar bag under there, hey? Yeah, yeah. It's quite cool. It's yeah, awesome. Nothing in it? Um, no, I don't think there should be. Nah, she's empty. That's really? awesome, though. Uh, all right. Well, help me out here with these cards, mate, because I do want to buy a bunch of cards off you. Um, as a bit of an education for myself and I, I don't know which ones I'm looking at. I've, I've kind of angled myself, don't know why, but maybe the celebrations yep. um, to pull out all the celebrations that we can find um, and maybe I could work on learning about that. And I was honestly, just general interest in the, um, in the binders, yep. um, Pokemon binders as well. I'll just have a look have at a look through. in the binder. Have so a look I think through I've got a few goodies. Yeah, have a look through all them. Um, yeah, these are some of my old cards and whatnot. Yeah, a few of these guys are good. They're good? I think this dude, the Pikachu V full art, has got a couple bucks on him. Okay. Uh, I can't remember if that Lapras... I was very excited about the Lapras V Max. I can't remember if it's worth much. And I'll check this gold V star. Check, check them out. 
you know what? Rather than me going through all of this, how about um, I'll do a price on... So let's do it this way. We'll say... So we've already priced up this stuff here, which yep. came to a total of 230 was 230, it? 230 yes. 2.30. And then we're looking at um, this guy here, some comics. That there. And the celebrations up there as well. Celebrations. <sighs> hmm. Let's say... Oh, oh we'll, we'll play a, a, a nice game here. We'll say... Chuck a hundred dollars just in for that now, mm -hmm. and then we'll Have see. Yeah, like what yeah. you can sell, what you can't sell, blah blah blah, yeah. and then just if there's like a decent, yeah, like I a hear. decent bit. I assume that there would be definitely more than a hundred dollars value, but just because we don't know, and I trust you, yeah. we'll um we'll just chuck the extra hundred dollars on. So I've got dollars that'd, there. That'd be three thirty. Yeah, let's call it three fifty. Three fifty, cool. We'll do one hundred and twenty for all of that. Yeah, let's make it three fifty. Awesome. Um, and then that'll be for today. And I'll start to sift through all of that. We've got a few listings for Courtney to list up tomorrow, which was a big thing for me to get out awesome. here today. Um, and but then I, I actually would want to buy all of this off you as well. Yep. Cool. Um, and, and then if you're saying you've got a bunch of stuff up here as well, and yeah, just random things. I'll have a look more at what you do sell and what you can sell. And yep. if I've got anything that I think you can make some dollars on, we'll. Yeah. We'll deal it up again. So a big thank you to Sam for letting me get out there and have a look at all of that stuff. $350 spent, but yet a whole lot left on the table as well. I'd love the opportunity to get back out there and have a look at more of some of Sam's stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you think I should go back out and have a bit more of a pick. It's something that I just need to continue to learn because I just know that there is good money in it. I just truly don't know what I'm looking at. So there's going to be a lot of time invested into trying to get a good understanding of what sells well. But I do know that Pokemon is a very, very good category. We had a lot of fun in the thrift today. Obviously a really great collect there with Sam for $350. So things are moving along really well. Just got a lot of work ahead of us to get these items listed and sold. Uh, if you're into Pokemon, I had a really big Pokemon card base set collect while I was over in the States. I've actually got that video for you to go and check out right here. It was a crazy grab, about $9,000 worth of cards.